Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we're going to start with some channeled messages, and then we are going to uh, do some Oracle, and then do... Oh, three of swords popped out, Virgo. Um, we're going to do some Oracle, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? So Virgo, I feel like someone has left the building here. Something is 100% truly over. Um, I feel like one person is trying to communicate. The other person is not answering back at all. Like, at all, okay? Um, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. I was just going to say, someone here is... Um, Someone here knows that they played with the connection, okay? They know that they took risks. They know that they weren't settled down. They know that they were not willing to commit. <coughs> and now they've lost this connection and they can't get over it. Someone here just cannot get over the fact that this connection is gone. But they do realize they do realize that it was due to the fact that they were not capable of just committing to a connection. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so someone's really in their head about this, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, pull some Oracle here, Virgo. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for the energy is gaining momentum, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. Under the deck, we've got show the world the real you. So Cancer, I, uh, Cancer, excuse me, Virgo, I'm sorry. So Virgo, I feel that um, with the energy is gaining momentum, I feel like somebody here, you know, is realizing the mistakes that they made. They want to come in and talk about it, but there's either someone's blocked or there's just no chance for communication anymore, okay? And I feel like it's starting to really rise up in somebody like, oh my gosh, this is really over. Like someone's really starting to understand now that this can never come back together again. And, and that, like a, a little bit of panic might be setting in, okay? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. What messages do, ooh, do we have here for Virgo? Oh, we've got adjacent possibilities and we've got healer of the ages, okay? Um, Virgo, I feel like someone here possibly went towards another option. <coughs> They've healed themselves with blossoming abundance. Somebody here may be doing very well, okay? And with, with hostilities and man holding a heart and all tied up, um, someone here may be very jealous or very upset over the love that their person is giving to someone else, okay? Um, even though they, there's no reason for someone to be upset about it because they had their chance and they were just completely unwilling to commit, being irresponsible with the relationship, just doing whatever they wanted to do, you know? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Ooh. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Tell me about Virgo, please. We've got taking steps. <coughs> we got decrease. Someone's leaving, Virgo. Someone is calling less, coming around less. Someone's walking away. There's, there's, with decrease, there's, there's no communication. Their hope is decreasing. Someone's walking away. Um, yeah, we've got planning and action. Uh, I feel like, again, someone here is, you know, that energy is gaining momentum and someone here is saying, you know what, I have to go in and say something. I have to go in and say something. I have to go in and say something. Like someone's about to blow up. Tell me about Virgo here, please. Tell me about Virgo. Yeah, someone's stalking Virgo. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Someone here is stalking, and I feel like they want to come in and express their love. They want to come in and express their love. Someone here is thinking of you. The problem, though, is with stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. This is the irony. I feel like the person that didn't want to commit in the connection now feels heartbroken. They feel betrayed that the other person, the person that was getting hurt, 
left. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like someone here didn't want to commit to a relationship. They didn't want a relationship. And now that the person that, you know, was getting hurt left to go be with somebody, now someone's having like a feeling of betrayal of some sorts. Like there's like literally stalking. Um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, we've got photographs looking at photos, missing you, nostalgia. Someone here is just all over the place tell me about virgo please tell me about virgo reconciliation and wedding okay virgo so someone wants to come back somebody wants to come back and they want to get married they want to get remarried they want to save the marriage either they want high levels of commitment so someone here wants to reconcile a marriage or they want to come back and and you know offer long term somebody here may be coming back with a marriage proposal <coughs> clarity guidance and love messages Ooh, clarity guidance and love messages for my beautiful virgos please tell me about virgo sun moon rising and venus please tell me about virgo sun moon rising and venus please We've got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Shells. We've got the full card, Aries Energy. Okay, we've, oh, excuse me. We've got the Strength card, Leo Energy. And we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. Under the deck, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So Virgo and the Four of Wands underneath that, okay? So Virgo, I feel like somebody here went off. They got engaged. They moved in with somebody. They've met a soulmate, a divine counterpart. Nine of Pentacles and the Fool card, someone here moved on. They moved on. They decided to take that leap of faith. Someone here fell head over heels in love. <coughs> with the nine of cups i feel this person is emotionally fulfilled with the strength card and the king of pentacles here i feel like someone's in a very strong connection and i feel like someone here um is in a very real committed loyal connection like they're not going to like for instance they're in a relationship if this third party comes in and tries to talk to them and say hey listen i still love you and i want this to work with the strength card this person will hold back they're, they're not going to answer okay so let's see what we have here tell me about the nine of pentacles please uh, the nine of cups please tell me about the nine of cups here for virgo the, sh the the tower i feel like this was very shocking and very sudden I feel like it was very shocking, very sudden. Um, Virgo, I feel like someone didn't expect for this to happen. Um, or it could be that, you know, listen, I want a relationship. You don't. We don't have a solid foundation. The the tower falls. I'm going to go rebuild it with someone that's going to make me happy. <coughs> Tell me about the Fool card for Virgo. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. Someone stopped calling. Someone stopped caring. Someone stopped asking, hey, do you want to make this work? Someone stopped apologizing. Somebody stopped hanging around waiting for something amazing to happen and took a leap of faith and fell in love somewhere else. Okay. And with Temperance, I feel Temperance and the Two of Cups, they're in a very peaceful, healing, and loving soul type connection. Tell me about the strength card here for. Virgo, we've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. And tell me about the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Lover's card. Gemini, Energy. Look at this, Virgo. You've got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy here. You've got someone rushing in that feels heartbroken, that feels betrayed, okay? Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. Excuse me, the King of Swords and the Six of Wands. This person has a plan to win, okay? This person has a plan to win. <coughs> the King of Wands and the Strength card. I feel like this King of Wands energy is coming in with a lot of confidence feeling like they can hold this person back from moving forward in this connection. That's what I feel. Uh, Leo Sagittarius energy. Someone feels that they can come in because with that lover's card, you've got, you know, the, in the in the traditional right or wait, you've got the man, the woman, and the snake looking over it. I feel like someone here wants to present themselves as an option. They want to steal someone's person away. But it's messed up because this person didn't want a commitment to begin with, you know? <coughs> Guys, I'm sorry. My allergies are acting up so bad today. 
Tell me about Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So we've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the Two of Swords. The Devil wanted to fall out. And the Two of Cups. Eight of Wands under the deck. Virgo. With the Nine of Wands here and the Two of Swords, somebody here really, 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 really wants to block and stop a situation from happening. With the Devil and the Two of Cups, we have someone here that's very angry, very jealous. Um, someone here may have mental issues, okay, or you know what I'm saying. Uh, with the two, they're so upset over this this two of cups really they're so upset over this soul tie or this very strong connection with the eight of wands i see a lot of communication coming in ace of swords and the sun um i feel that somebody here is coming in saying listen i'm the one you know what i'm saying i'm your true wife or husband i'm your true person you know king of pentacles here to the queen of pentacles <coughs> someone here is saying i'm supposed to be the one that's supposed to be my place and with <coughs> i'm so sorry with the judgment card and the five of swords and the seven of swords <coughs> Someone here wants a second chance, Virgo. With the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, somebody here wants to sabotage a connection. They want to steal somebody away. They want to steal somebody away. That is what's happening here. Someone's coming in saying, hey, listen, I'm the one. I'm your wife. I'm your husband. I am I was the one you were engaged to. I'm the one you're meant to be with. Um, you know, leave that person and come with me, right? So someone here is coming in to try to steal somebody away. Tell me about the nine of wands here for Virgo and the strength card Leo energy. Tell me about the two of swords and the high priestess Cancer Piscean energy. Someone here has been quiet about this for long enough. They can't stay quiet anymore. <coughs> They've been holding back from saying how they truly feel. Tell me about the devil card, please, for Virgo. Nine of wands in the reverse, but it's about to be unleashed. They can't hold it back anymore. The, the, the jealousy, the anger, the rage, whatever it is, it's about to all come spilling out. Tell me about the two of cups. Yeah, queen of cups and the ten of cups in the reverse. So, Virgo, I feel like someone here is saying... I want you to end a relationship because I still love you. That's what someone here is saying. I want you to end this relationship that you're in because I still love you. We've got the Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy, and the Star, Aquarian energy, um, and the Page of Cups. So someone is coming in here, Virgo, to say... <coughs> I'm the one you should be with. And so this person has been hiding their emotions for a very long time. This person has been hiding their emotions for a very long time. Or maybe they never even said how they feel to you. Like this might be someone that never even expressed their emotions to you. And because you went off and got yourself into a relationship, they're like, how dare you? And you're over there like, I'm sorry, what now? Like, I don't even know we, we were a thing. You know what I'm saying? So someone here feels very betrayed that you're in a relationship and someone here just wants you to, you know, leave that situation and come with them. Whether this is an ex or whether this is someone that, you know, never told you how they felt. Tell me about the, um, the challenge here, please. Tell me about the challenge here. And guys, I do have to say for some of you, it could be possible that it's same sex because we've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, and the King of uh, Pentacles here right next to each other. So, and then I see a man and a woman couple here. So it could be a man and a woman couple and it, it could be a same sex person, you know, a same sex situation. Tell me uh, about the, let's see, the Queen of Wands in the reverse here, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the challenge here. And the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. <clears throat> Guys, 
we have some, the challenge here is that someone is about to lose their mind over a new relationship. Someone here is about to lose their mind. Queen of Wands in the reverse, that energy is jealous, it's possessive, it's controlling. Um, and with the Page of Cups here, I feel like someone here is going to come in real sweet, like with an apology or whatever the case may be. But this person wants a new beginning because they're jealous, they're possessive, they, you know, King of... of um, you know, King of Swords here and the Three of Cups, make no mistake that this person has a plan to reconcile. So whoever this person is, they're coming in to come together with you, to reunite with you, or to, to reconcile with you. Tell me about the outcome here for Virgo, please. The, oh, the outcome here for Virgo. I'm so sorry. My allergies are so bad. I'm so sorry. The truth. Okay. The star card, Aquarian energy, the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy, and the 10 of pentacles. <coughs> so guys, what we have here with the star, the moon, and the 10 of cups, I feel that I feel that the outcome here is that someone has a lot of hope that once they reveal this secret, it will all be happily ever after, okay? They have this hope that once they come forward and once they speak their peace, that everything's going to go amazing. But with the Nine of Swords uh, and the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, they have fear that, you know, their intuition is telling them, once I speak up, this person's never going to talk to me again. So we've got the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Swords, Cancer, Piscean, Energy. So we have someone here that's going to come forward that's been holding back how they feel. And they're like, this is either going to make me or break me. Do you see what I'm saying? Either I'm going to get a chance to be with this person or they're never going to talk to me again. You know what I'm saying? It's it's either or. So someone's coming forward. It's this is it's either do or die. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. I love you so much and take care. Bye, my loves.